The 2008 ad wars are heating up with what is officially the first response ad of the general election. Last night we told you about the new RNC ad that attacks Senator Obama on the issue of energy. Because the Republicans have, you know, been so good for the country on energy these last eight years. You filled up at the pump lately? Do you miss your firstborn? Uh, well, tonight, Senator Obama is counterpunching with an ad of his own. It's airing in the same four battleground states as the GOP's ad. On gas prices, John McCain's part of the problem. McCain and Bush support a drilling plan that won't produce a drop of oil for seven years. McCain will give more tax breaks to big oil. He's voted with Bush 95% of the time. Barack Obama will make energy independence an urgent priority. Raise mileage standards. Fast-track technology for alternative fuels. A $1,000 tax cut to help families as we break the grip of foreign oil. A real plan and new energy. I'm Barack Obama, and I approve this message. But by the time that ad began airing this morning, there was already another ad probably deserving of an Obama campaign response. The new attack ad highlights Senator McCain's Vietnam service record. But remember, he never wants to talk about that. Isn't it funny how often it comes up then in the ads created by his own campaign? The new ad also borrows from the Clinton campaign's unsuccessful strategy of framing Obama as nothing more than a candidate who offers the dreaded hope. John McCain doesn't always tell us what we hope to hear. Beautiful words cannot make our lives better, but a man who has always put his country and her people before self, before politics, can. Don't hope for a better life. Vote for one. McCain. I'm John McCain, and I approve this message. Let's bring in NBC's political director, Chuck Todd. Hi, Chuck. Rachel, hello. By the time the campaign released the first official response ad of the general election, we've got another one that probably deserves another response. What do you make of the timing here? Do you think that McCain is sort of ahead of the, ahead of the game? I think this is, uh, I think it's not an accident that this ad comes out just after he's retooled his campaign a little bit, seems to have a little more message discipline. But it's also an acknowledgement of this fact, and I think the McCain campaign is very comfortable running a campaign like this, that this is going to be a referendum on Obama. And this ad, very much a biographical ad, but yet also tries to create the contrast with Obama. Talks about this idea that, you know, you know what, people talked about hope and change and uh, flower children, and you see the, 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 uh, the, the 60s era photos, uh, that's sort of how they want to paint Obama here, that, you know what, this guy's living in the clouds, this is, you know, he's not very practical, the idea may sound good, but when you get down to brass tacks, John McCain's your guy, and I think that they know the only way of winning this thing is making this about an Obama referendum. Do you think that Obama, because of the financing issue, is at somewhat of a disadvantage? Because, proportionally speaking, more of his ads are probably going to come out as official Obama campaign ads. On the Republican side, there's going to be much more of a mix, and a smaller proportion it's will a, be from the campaign. It's a very smart point. Uh, Obama, while there's more independent money on the Democratic side right now, if you count the move on money, a, McCain is going to rely more on 527 and independent expenditure ads. I mean, the RNC ad is technically an independent expenditure ad, So, and, and particularly right now. And there's one other point on the funding front. You know, Obama made this decision to, to get out uh, of the federal system. Well, he is not going to be able to use any of this general election money until the day he gets his nomination. He might have a minor cash flow issue for the next six weeks. Look, he's going to have 150 to 200 million dollars for the last 60, uh, 60 days of this campaign. But he's got a small little cash flow problem. And I think they're a little nervous about that. That's why he's coming to New York City to go raise some money. That's why he's looking for big donors, because he's running out of primary donors. It's almost impossible to think about the Obama campaign having a cash flow problem. Well, given it's what timing, we've seen, though. But, it's just yeah. when it is and when you're allowed to use the money and when you're allowed right. not to use the money. Well, when I watch that McCain ad that we just played, the punchline to me is John McCain, don't hope. I mean, I know that's not the, what they wanted to have isolated well, I, there, but I mean, I'm hearing echoes of what we heard from Senator Clinton, which of course did not work, which is hope is a bad thing in a politician. Hope is a bad thing in a candidate. Well, look, the McCain people, I think, have studied what Clinton did very carefully and see what didn't work and did work. And I think they have come to the conclusion on some of these things, and including hitting him on the words and the speeches. Hey, he may sound good. He may be a good politician, but come on, there's got to be a practicality that comes with it. And I think that they believe Clinton just never sold herself as a, as a good enough alternative. Hmm. And McCain, they think they can sell him as America's safety net, the comfortable shoe. 
Look, it may not be the exciting shoe. It may not be the one you wanna you wanna wear on a date or wear to the ball. But it's certainly going to be the one that you wanna wear when you've gotta walk a couple of miles. And I think that they think if they can present themselves as that and present Obama as just too risky, <laughs> too uncomfortable. But that's what I think this first ad does. It tells you that this new retooled campaign, they realize this is this election's about Obama. It's a referendum on him, not on McCain. On the, uh, the subject matter of this ad, of this mm -hmm. McCain ad, part of the politics around McCain's you know, unchallenged heroism as, mm -hmm. a, as a POW in Vietnam is that he is reluctant to talk about it, that, he doesn't, that it's sort of off limits as a political issue, that he doesn't ever want to raise it. But we have all seen a lot of ads now, not just this year, but even in previous campaigns from McCain that are deliberately and overtly highlighting that part of his service. Is, is it time to drop the pretense that this is supposed to be an off-limits part of politics about John McCain? Well, it's interesting. Probably it is. But, you know, I've noticed this with all military veterans when they run. We saw it with John Kerry. We saw it with Bob Dole. You look, look the, the consultants come in and say, you have an incredible biography. Let's mm -hmm. tell that story. And, right. you know, a campaign consultant sits there, I want to tell that story. You've got photos of you. Oh, my God, in uniform. You know, John McCain in that uniform, he looks terrific. He looks like a hero. You know, and so a campaign consultant wants to tell the story. I do think you actually, when you talk to these guys, these veterans, and it hasn't mattered, they don't like to use it. They do feel uncomfortable. So I think this is a case where his advisors are basically saying, stop this. We're going to use it. So you better get used to it. I, I think that the trade-offs is if, if you say yes, if you say yes, we can use it, you can then no longer get, get points for saying I'm reluctant Which to use is it. what the Bush campaign did to John Kerry no fourth. Like, you want to use it? Fine. Yeah. And we're going to use it, too. Chuck Todd, NBC's political director. Thanks for coming in. You got it, Rachel.